country could we find a loose chicken and a loose goat just wandering around <laughs> vacation. We're in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. We're at a place called Agape. Agape? I'm not sure the pronunciation, but look what just entered our lives. Bacon, fruit. This is called a pancake platter. It has all the toppings you could want. And then we're getting ready. We got to fuel up so we can take a train route. Strasburg Railroad. Uh, this looks like we can't figure out if it's a steam engine or if it's a coal. Um, it definitely looks like it's probably at least 100 years old. It has stained glass. Really pretty. I think we're gonna, our tickets are for coach and our ride's gonna be about 45 minutes. We're getting ready to take the train ride. It was very easy to check in if you're ever in this area, Strasburg. Pennsylvania, check this train right out. It was amazing. There's a gift shop. There's a train museum across the street. There's an antique place down the road. Very nice area. Very clean air. I can't wait to see what uh, we see on the trip on the train ride. Like probably lots of livestock. Okay. Well, we're gonna I wonder if we're going to see uh, somebody get sold in half. We made it to Longwood Gardens in Pennsylvania. This place is amazing if you get a chance. Uh, there's all kind of fountain shows. Uh, we're getting ready in a few minutes to go see an open air fountain show. And look at these. Just, the, the, it's a sensory overload here. The, there's smells and sights that are so beautiful. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, if I lived around here, I would come here every day. This is so pretty. Look at this. You have your leg up coming. I don't know.
temporarily closed off, but you can see all the amazing uh, trimmed topiaries. Incredible, look at these. And they smell as good as they look. French and Italian inspired water fountain. reasons we came to this garden. Look how big those lily pads are. They're like the size of a small car. So we made it to Philadelphia. We are downtown. We are seeing the sights. We're getting ready to go see the Liberty Bell. This statue behind me actually uh, is called the Signer. It signifies the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Independence Hall is back here as well. This Philly cheesesteak. It's going to be amazing. It is. Wendy's there. That is a combination of celery, carrots, and onions. And it's the base of a lot of cuisine, uh, soups, uh, main courses, pretty much everything, especially in French cuisine, uh, starts off with that, those three combinations. And we're gonna saute these. I hope you enjoyed watching my little snippets of my recent vacation to Amish country in Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Strasburg, and then Philadelphia. There, are so, there were so many unique food items that we tried there. Um, their shoe fly pie. Um, it's almost like a pecan, but it's a molasses pie with a crumble on top. And kind of unusual that I had never tried before or even heard of before was called Scrapple. Um, it's ground pork with uh, wheat mixed in and they turn it into blocks. Um, not my favorite, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I've seen on TV, they s <laughs> almost was like a, a prison loaf that I've seen on TV. I'm sorry if you're from Pennsylvania, if you make this or you love this. This is just my opinion. I just thought it was a little weird. It was like blocks of pork mixed with wheat. But one of the really nicest things that I tried on my trip uh, was at Longwood Gardens. If you've never been there before, I don't know if you saw some of my videos from, uh, you know, short videos from the place with fountains and beautiful flowers and um, the gardens. Uh, one very unique thing that they have uh, at that location, they have um, a cafe from the early 1900s and they have a garden where they source all of the food that they serve you. So I had acorn stuffed squash. and was one of the best things that I've ever had. Um, I think it was one of the best healthy things that I've ever tried before. So I'm gonna try to duplicate that. I went up and talked to the chef and 
She didn't give me a recipe, but she kind of told me what was in it. So I'm trying to my best to duplicate it because it was so amazing. But this does have, a, this is the only recipe that I'm putting on this video because this does have a lot of prep work with vegetables and there's different elements to this. Uh, depending on how hot your oven is, just kind of keep your eye on the squash. 350, I roasted mine at 375 for about 40 minutes, flipping the squash once and I just cut them in half. So this is gonna make six servings and I used three acorn squash. So there's that element, you wanna get that started cause that's gonna take at least 40, 45 minutes. You just want them to be soft. And then you also have a layer of roasted vegetables. Now this has mushrooms, broccoli, and cauliflower. And I, you could roast them the same time you're roasting the squash if your oven has enough room. Um, I roasted this for about 30 minutes, flipping them once at the same, 350 or 375, just depend, just keep your eye on them. They, you know, they will burn, the broccoli edges will burn if you let it go too long. So those are the first things you're gonna need to do. You wanna roast just a pan. I drizzled a little olive oil and I sprinkled a little uh, garlic powder. While your acorn squash is in the oven roasting and the vegetables, if you have room, I'm gonna just take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and I've got this on medium high heat. Put a little olive oil. And remember, I've got the mapois. It's the carrot, celery, and onion mixture. And we're just gonna reduce this down. It looks like a lot, but remember I'm making, I'm gonna stuff six acorn squash. Um, so this is a, about two onions, a whole uh, container, you know how you get those bunches of celery, um, and a whole bag of carrots. So you could certainly, you know, reduce this down by a lot. Uh, you just wanna keep, um, you just wanna make sure it doesn't burn. So let's start on our quinoa. I'm using white organic quinoa. Now quinoa is a two to one ratio. You wanna use one part, the, one part quinoa and two parts water. And for this, I'm going to just do a cup because it, when you cook it, it actually gets really big. So again, I've got the medium to high heat. And I know I'm going to use a cup, so I'm going to go ahead and put two cups of water. And one cup of quinoa. And I am gonna cook it with a lid. Okay, and then check back. I'll show you how things are progressing in a few minutes. Okay, so while we're waiting for the acorn squash and vegetables to roast and the mapois to saute, we are going to make a simple apple cider vinaigrette and this is great on regular salad as well, but we're gonna pour this uh, over the top when we get ready to serve the acorn squash. So just keep that in mind. Um, and I have saved, I just had, I don't know, maraschino cherries or something in this, washed it out. And these little jars, mason jars, are great for dressing. And this does not need to be refrigerated. We're going to start off with equal parts of olive oil and I found an uh, organic apple cider vinegar because apples unfortunately are on the dirty dozen list this year. So I'm going to use a fourth of a cup of each. salt and pepper, a 
just a pinch of salt because we are going to use Dijon mustard that does have salt in it. So just a pinch. So about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And to kind of balance that tart, I'm going to use a, a tablespoon of honey. Now, a best practice is to actually spray with, uh, I'm using an extra virgin olive oil, the same spray that you use for pans before you bake them so things don't stick. Um, I'm going to spray that so the honey doesn't stick to this. It should slide right out. So that's about a tablespoon of honey. And it slid right out. And then I'm also going to put about a clove of garlic. And then you just put the lid on. And you give it a good shake. You want it to kind of emulsify. See how it gets very creamy. And then give it a taste. Make sure it doesn't need any more salt or pepper. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's the perfect balance of a little sweetness and a little tartness. Give this a try on your next salad. So I've reduced down the mahua. It almost reduced about half in size, but that's what you want. You just want it to be slightly browned, but not burnt. So now it's time to combine the rest of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of garlic in here. About a tablespoon. I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of just regular apple cider. And I'm going to add the roast vegetables. Go ahead and go ahead and add the quinoa. See how much quinoa this was just a cup. Um, I have about a fourth of a cup of raisins, golden raisins if you've got them, I don't have them, and a fourth of a cup of unsweetened cranberries. And we're going to let this cook on low for about 10 minutes. So once this has um, cooked for about 10 minutes, um, I am going to stuff the acorn squash throw them back in the oven for about 10 minutes and put the dressing on each one of them. Now it's time to get the, the acorn squash stuffed. They're uh, roasted for about 40 minutes. And I, I do have to tell you that it started off being three acorn squash and now it's four. I feel like I have enough filling that uh, I needed to roast off a couple more. So feel free to like, you know, modify this recipe a little bit based on how many you're gonna make. I'm going to cook this in the oven at 375 for about 10-15 minutes. Everything's already cooked and roasted. You want to just kind of incorporate it into the squash. Now we're adding the apple cider vinaigrette to each one of these to add a nice layer of flavor. That's one beautiful roasted acorn squash. I know this seems like a complicated recipe, but trust me, it's gonna get some more vegetables into your life, a little bit of protein from the quinoa, and it's, I think it's delicious. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed my journey to Pennsylvania. If you ever get the opportunity to check out Pennsylvania, uh, Central Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Strasburg, um, that whole area, the Amish, uh, are so welcoming. We took a buggy ride. We uh, went to a lot of the farm markets. They, everybody was super nice. Um, there's just a lot of things to do there. Philadelphia speaks for itself. Uh, Philly steak, all the national historic monuments. Um, the food there is so amazing. There, there's just something for everybody. So if you get a chance, check out that area. And I really appreciate you watching. And I hope that um, you have a great week. 
and take care of yourself and each other.